A guy, you know, we can only kind of laugh about it as nothing has changed. It is still not an organized system. Now the winds we have been able to find within some of the stronger thunderstorms winds at 45 miles an hour, which would make this a tropical or subtropical storm. However, what you also need to have and probably more important than anything is a closed circulation. Hurricane Center hurricane hunters are not able to find that. So it is still just basically tropical rainfall moving northward without much of a name or any kind of organization. And when you really look at the radar and satellite, it does not have the appearance of a tropical system. It's got more of a comma shape, which would mean more of a non tropical. So if if this were to get a name just before landfall, and I mean the window of opportunity is quickly closing, it would likely be a subtropical storm. In other words, not purely tropical characteristics. However, it's rainfall and we've gotten some rain around here, but not all that much. And matter of fact, looking at radar or excuse me on satellite, when you colorize the cloud tops, what has been moving over us have not been very intense. You find the brighter cloud tops well off to the east, and if these are able to hold together, Together, moving northward more like along the Florida beaches south of Panama City, Fort Walton Beach, not across New Orleans or even coastal Mississippi. What we have seen in terms of rainfall have not been all that much in terms of accumulation. So here is the track basically useless because it's just the rainfall that is moving northward. Now the good thing is the entire cluster of storms. I don't want to call it an organized system yet. We'll be moving generally to the east as we get or northeast as we get more into the day tomorrow, which is great news for us because it takes any of the rain away. And in fact, we'll show you a couple of computer models in just a second. It does look like most of the day tomorrow, with maybe the exception of the early, early morning hours, Saturday looks dry. So it looks like the first half of the weekend, not bad at all. And maybe a different story for Father's Day. We'll talk about that. Our high resolution satellite, again, this is the satellite that takes an image every single minute. This is more up to the date and real time than even radar is. So this is our high resolution satellite. You see that generally broad circulation, which is why the Hurricane Center is saying that the center is here again, but it's quote unquote, let's use the air quote center because there really is no center. This is the center of the broad circulation, but indications were that we would see some type of smaller closed circulation try and form. Now, with that being said, there were several of our computer models, the GFS and the Euro in particular, that always kind of indicated that this would be more of just a broad circulation type of rain event moving north toward the coast and never really getting very well organized. And that has certainly been the case. Now on radar, what rain has been moving through have been light to moderate. Even some of the isolated spots where you've gotten some heavier bands move across, say, southern Plaquemines Parish, we've only seen about a tenth to maybe 15 hundredths of an inch increase or added to those totals from some of these higher rain bands. So even the heavier rain bands are not all that much. I also wanted to widen on it already because, again, there is the center of the overall broad circulation. But what do you also see on radar? Just to the west of Venice moving inland, there was this one little spin. There also appears to be a little spin here south of Homa. So there are several little vortices or eddies that are within this overall broad circulation. And that's one reason why it has just not been able to get very well organized. There is not one center that seems to be uh, concentrating itself within this overall cluster of storms. And what rain has been moving through has not been all that particularly heavy. Now let's take a look at our high resolution model. Again, the indication from the Hurricane Center is that the center is down south. This model is almost indicating what looks to be almost a secondary little center that's already starting to move inland. Now, if that is the case, then you could almost say it's made landfall if that ends up being the center. But notice where the heavier rainfall goes through the overnight period or the late night and overnight period moving away from us based on the high resolution model by midnight. We may already see southeast Louisiana completely dry with some heavier bands moving away from Mississippi. Now that's not to say we won't see a few wraparound showers kind of pass through. But in terms of anything more substantial with rain, we may be done by about the midnight hour and going closer to wake up time tomorrow morning. Most of the heavy storms are already to our north and east and the rest of the day Saturday is looking dry. Now this is all the 
tropical rainfall within kind of a broad upper and surface trough. That tail end of the trough is going to begin moving back over us on Sunday. So for Father's Day, it does look like we're going to see greater rain coverage. So tomorrow looks to have some sunshine and much drier and then scattered showers and thunderstorms returning as we get into Sunday. Rainfall so far, not much. We've had about a quarter of an inch at Bell Chase, two tenths of an inch downtown, almost four tenths of an inch at Reserve. No one reporting even a half inch. You have to go down to Burris in southern Plaquemines Parish to find more of the higher totals, but even that is only at 1.65. And the estimates from our computer models are calling for generally across most of the area, less than an inch from Morgan City to Homa to maybe over an inch and a half to near two inches and the higher amounts around coastal Mississippi. So two inches to even three inches through the evening and into early tomorrow morning, we can more than handle. If you got that much in a very short period of time, yeah, you might have some flooding issues, but also notice the flash flood watch has been expired for areas from uh, say Western River parishes to Baton Rouge out towards St. Mary Parish. So it only still includes it kind of immediate southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi, as even the National Weather Service has decreased their rainfall amounts in terms of the total amount that we could see across southeast Louisiana. The Euro model indicating that circulation going to be moving inland shortly, later tonight, early, early tomorrow morning, and with it taking the heaviest of the rainfall two hour east before daybreak tomorrow morning. There is still the risk as that circulation of the storm begins moving inland that we could see a few spin up weak brief tornadoes, but that risk does look to be fairly low, which is why we're only under a level one of five threat for any kind of tornadic activity. Coastal flood warnings in effect through tomorrow evening or winds again that onshore flow will be increasing water levels about two to three feet above high tide for the lake waters expecting about one to two feet above high tide. Dry air and wind shear have once again come to our rescue. You have strong wind shear across the northern Gulf of Mexico and very dry air that has been able to wrap into that center, which is why the circulation center has been all but exposed and nothing is able to really concentrate around that center. We were talking a couple of days ago about the fact that sometimes if that is the case, you try and find a new center develop within the heavy moisture, the heavy thunderstorm activity. Well, that opportunity is now coming to an end as it looks like the drier air will continue to move over and notice by Saturday the drier air kind of wins out, which is why we are going to be dry. Then as I mentioned, this is all associated with a trough that moisture starts moving back northward as we get into Sunday and probably keeping our rain chance on the higher side for Monday as well. Inland winds, they have been breezy 18 to 20 mile an hour sustained gusting at Kenner up to 25 gusting to almost tropical storm force already at Bell Chase and then offshore Sure is where you find some of the stronger winds. 38 mile an hour wind gusts from over our buoys, but notice the winds fairly light right near the center of this. You have to go pretty far away from the center to find some of the strongest winds, which again, no strong winds near the center, no rain near the center. This is not a tropical system, and at the moment it's not even a name system. So heaviest rain will continue through the evening and night, but only expecting for most of us one to three inches, maybe a few spots, a higher amount or two. Tropical storm, tropical storm force winds, I think more gusts at times through the overnight and into early, early tomorrow and then improving weather for the rest of the day on Saturday. Remember to download the WWL TV app for all the very latest information. We'll be updating that constantly as well as all of our social media pages and YouTube channel. I guess YouTube channel. We're under mostly cloudy skies with some rain around. At least the clouds and rain have kept our temperatures down. We're only in the 70s outside at the moment, and it looks like tomorrow will be a warmer and drier day with some sunshine. Got that 40% chance, maybe more like a 30% chance early in the morning. The trough starts lifting back northward, again, kind of associated with our tropical system, bringing a chance of rain up for Father's Day. So Father's Day looking to be a wetter day. Probably still some lingering storms on into Monday and Tuesday, and then we dry out but warm up with highs back into the 90s by the middle to end of next week. All right, Chris, thank you very much. And